All right, this weekend I'm going to try to get this thing uh, painted. My Connex is painted. Uh, listen, a 98 today. Let me rotate, see what it is right now. All right. Not bad. Still 98, but uh, in full sun, we are over 120 degrees on this thing. Uh, I just want to make it look civil. And so I'm going to, what I'm going to do tonight as the temperature drops is I'm just going to cut everything in with the gray. Uh, I do have a spray gun over here, but, you know, in on all honesty, if the brush is fast, I'll just start and end with the brush. <laughs> uh, tearing these, uh, you know, using these, there's a lot of cleanup to do and oiling and all that stuff. and We'll see, but uh, I might end up using that. But I found myself a five-gallon thing of exterior good paint. Uh, it's a little gray, and I think that'll look nice. 50 bucks. So we're going to paint this this weekend. But I got to get the heat to drop down. We I just got in from Galveston today, so uh, but it, it's on my mind. So I'll start this evening cutting in, and then we'll see. Tomorrow I might have to get up, you know, 4 or 5 in the morning and get things around, depending on how the brushwork goes tonight. So I'll start in the shade in the back and work my way around and see what we're doing. Somebody, he's right, it's dinner time, is uh, here to let me know that I'm messing up here. <laughs> Let me get these horses fed. <laughs> Let's see what this uh, paint looks like in here. All I did was pull the lid when I bought it and take a look. You know, I didn't open a big can. Somebody's already cut it open, so, you know, I'm hoping it's a full five gallon bucket and it's just not water. <laughs> but I did look in there, it looked like paint. All right. Got a little purple to it. I'm willing to live with that. Bet you that's why they took it back. There we go. The purple's just on top. It's more of an army gray. Battleship gray, I can live with that. It's a neutral gray, it'll go with anything. It looks like it's all paint. It's mixing up to be paint. There's not a lot of sludge at the bottom. It feels like a good mix. The outside of the thing said it was an exterior, so. Let's see, it says Velspar Duramax exterior paint. That's a good paint. Um, assuming that that's what's in there, I got a good paint for 50 bucks. I bought it at a Habitat for Humanity. You know, all those old chemicals, people don't like to have them. So sometimes you catch a good deal like this one. Trying to get this mixed up before the sun comes over the edge of the connex and warms that one side. We're, we're going to try to get that one side done. The side that has all of the windows and everything. Now I don't like to mask off, so you'll see that I don't mask off. I used to be a real good painter. Before I got a little tremor in my hand and now I'm an okay painter. Try not to make a big mess. That's the one thing I try. <laughs> try to keep it clean. So the goal isn't perfection here, all right? It's just good enough. I want from a distance the house to be in harmony. I want to seal up like some of the screw heads that I put through. I want to put a layer of paint around them so moisture won't seep in. Uh, this will eventually have earth bag over it, so I'm going to end up painting some of the wood and just leave like a, uh, uh, one inch or a half inch of exposed wood around the edge there. Then I'll come back in with oil and I'll oil the whole thing. It is treated, so I have to let it sit, uh, for a little while, but these have all sit long enough. I could treat them. Uh, but let's go ahead and cut in this window without further ado. And, uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and get my multi-tool and scrape off any uh, anything that's peeling on that uh, and just paint just boom right over everything. Just setting this up so when I get, if I do airless spray it, uh, I don't have to get close to this. And that way I don't have to mask things off a lot. It's already got a little uh, plastic over the stained glass window, so I'm just going to leave that in place. I'm going to build storm windows here shortly. Uh, right after this, in fact, this that'll be my next project to storm windows and mainly be ailing, uh, um, oiling the outside timbers, getting those going. I'm very happy with this color. I can't believe somebody took it back. I mean, it's as neutral a gray as you can get. There's a lot of spray foam that I put in around here, and I'm just going to cover the spray foam. <laughs> Not real well, but a, a little bit. Again, I, that, if I, I was painting this permanently, if my plan was to paint the exterior and leave it look like this, then I would have uh, spent a lot more time in prep. But really, I just want your eye, when you look at it from a distance, I want your eye to go, oh, the house is one color, instead of, you know, all these shades of black and blue and, uh, you know, stickers and all that. I'm also not going to peel the stickers. Uh, now, that would have been a lot of hard work, so, and I would have uh, thought probably grinding would have been the best way to peel a sticker, but, again, I'm not going to do that. A good example here of why I don't mask. I can put as straight an edge on uh, uh, by hand, even with my tremor, my shake, and uh, the technique is don't don't use too much paint on your brush, and just you start in, you cut in like that, and then you commit to the edge you're going to do, and you just make the edge. And the same thing will work uh, around doors and windows and all that. So it saves me a lot of time to, to never have to uh, tape off. Um, and I'm careful not to slock a lot of paint now that I have an uh, edge there. I'm, I'm treating it with respect. If you grab a brush and you throw it around and splash a bunch, then, you know, you're just going to make extra work for yourself. Again, my only goal here is if I do decide to power up the airless sprayer that I can, you know, spray out here psh, 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 not have to impose on the, the black that's already done. good man that's a nice nice car I don't know why anybody would have taken it back homeowner must have changed their mind well after spending a few minutes looking at that I think I will cut it in like I said that was around the foam and leaving the black but my eye sees that so I'll cut in this window and then I'll make a call the other reason why I might use a brush instead of spray is I only have five gallons 
So my idea is to do the whole perimeter first, not the roofs at all. I'll do elastomeric on the roofs. And then uh, down the center where it'll be in inter inside paint eventually, if I run out of color, I'll do something else there. But anyway, I'll go all the way around. Uh, the sun is beginning to peek over. I'm going to get my cowboy hat, but let me do this side now. Let's see if I like this way better. Again, I'll just make a little line. I'll fill it all in. I do, I like that better. All right, internet, that is what I'm gonna do. And again, earth bag will be right up against all of this, so it, it won't matter. But I think it makes it, makes it look nicer. And the first window. And people do like to tape off, but it takes as much time to tape as it does to to just cut it in careful. And uh, then if you forget to peel the tape on time, it kind of sets into the paint, and you have a paint problem with tape sticking in it. And when I was young, I could make these lines perfect. <laughs> now they got a little wiggle to them. That's all right. A little slight wiggle won't, isn't as bad as a big black uh, spray foam line. Corners are a little tricky. You kind of got to take your brush and fold it over like you do a New York style piece of pizza. And just get in there. That's a little bit, find an edge on your brush and chase it around with that. All right. Yeah, it's a little easier on the eye than that one. That's a little harder. You can see as I'm painting it. That's... Okay, once I get the earth bag in there, it'll look great. <clears throat> All right, everybody, I, I like that. So again, my goal is it to make a final finish. Like, otherwise I'd be out here for a week grinding labels and I, mean, I might even bondo some stuff up and make things straight, but I didn't do that. I made it reasonably straight as I built it, right? I pulled all the panels straight. So I don't have a lot of cave-ins on that. If you want a nice finished exterior, you should buy a new one, not a used one. But again, I'm gonna wrap mine in earth bag. But uh, this is working out for me, and uh, in the vi it goes between beige in my eye and, uh, you know, gray. But it's gray, maybe with a touch of periwinkle in it, maybe just a little lavender. Uh, but uh, I did like covering up the, uh, the uh, spray foam, black spray foam better. So I'm going to go ahead and go back through. I got to get a t high ladder to do the top. On the tops and the bottom post, I'm putting extra layers of paint. Uh, for preservative. That's really what I'm after. I'm preservating. I'm looking for any screw heads, nail pops, anything like that that holes, any little pinholes, micro holes, rust. Uh, that's what I'm after today. Uh, digging this uh, pretty much. Let me keep going before the sun gets all the way over the top and uh, I'll just move to a new place that's in the shade and uh, I might set up that air sprayer so I could start air spraying. Uh, I think that will be a faster operation. But over here I have uh, all of those windows and doors to still do. Uh, so I'll be a little bit. I find uh, it takes me, you know, a day of prep and then a day of painting. I've been working on this a little bit, prepping it, so I'm closer. Um, the brush doesn't take that long. If push comes to shove, I might brush coat it, but I think I'll spray it. 
All right, real good, happy. Let me go ahead and put you on stop motion and I'll keep doing the rest of this. All right, well, uh, you can see that it's the sun's just about ready to pop over the hill there and get on this side. So uh, I'm going to move the steps with the fork truck. I just put them in place. They're not bolted. I'm going to paint that last little bit. That whole side will be cut in. And uh, when I come back this afternoon, I'm hoping that that uh, will be in the shade, the window. And I might brush that whole end. Uh, you know, just if I cut in and there's only a little bit, I'll just finish brushing it. But uh, it looks pretty good already. I'm real happy with it. Um, like I say, it's a, it's a gray that dances on the edge of beige slash periwinkle. So I'm hoping it picks up sundown, sunset. Uh, again, it's a temporary coating just to unify the appearance while I, uh, I get ready to earth bag and put in the reciprocal ceiling. I, I just want it to look nice. Uh, when I'm done with that, then the foundation, I got to get that done. Then I'll be back inside the house and finish up some, uh, this whole bedroom. So uh, I'm looking forward to all of it. Let me real quick get this done. Uh, I've got uh, the bar uh, uh, Father's Day barbecue that I have to get to in an hour. And it takes me a half hour to drive there. So <laughs> i got to wash up and all that. Uh. Alright, it, it'll be nice to have this all a unified look and feel. I got just about enough paint to do it. I put, uh, I'm going to guess, a quart and a half in, a, in that bucket and I cut everything in with that. So that's the other thing I find that if I uh, brush that uh, I use less than spray. I guess because of the overspray, but um, we'll see. Once I start spraying, <laughs> like I want to spray this evening, I don't want to stop. Uh, I want to spray until I'm done. I'll be dealing with clogs as it is, but to stop and then put uh, three and one oil in it, clean it up, start again the next day. Man, it's a lot of hard work. I would rather get it all sprayed and then put it away. And I've done that before. I've used spray many a time, so it's possible. Mm -hmm. Today is Father's Day, so I am the man of the hour, so... Uh, There'll be other dads there too. It's a little barbecue for, for dad, so I'm looking forward to it. This will look good. I'll have all of this tied in together. And it won't be all model black and white and blue and grays. <laughs> Just be one color. And then this fall, I'm expecting to get the earth bag done because I'll dig ponds this uh, summer and get the dirt I need. I also wanted to put a, uh, underneath the house, I want to put a basement where I'll put my water filtration and all that and I'll have extra room and storage. Um, and that'll be tunneling, but I, I might hire that done and have guys come in and tunnel that for me. I mean, I don't think digging a, a basement is very interesting. Uh, one guy on a shovel, it would take me a long time. We'll see we'll, when I cross that. When I think about the amount of work, I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I don't want a basement, but uh, I do. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the right thing. If I'm building a thousand year house, I might as well not take any shortcuts. Might as well build it the way I want it. The only other thing I've noticed is that uh, when it rains a lot and the, the logs get saturated, they do weep in. So I'm hoping that by putting a little gasket of paint around, you know, the wall side, that it helps uh, prevent uh, that. And then I am going to follow up with, uh, oh, I don't know, Australian oil or Thompson water seal. It's ready for me to seal it all, so... And that'll help too. And then I'm painting the ends of the uh, the logs, so once I wrap it in earth bag, the logs will be protected. Yep, looking forward to that Father's Day barbecue. 
got to get this done in a half hour so I could scrub up and show show up a few minutes late. It's again, I'm not it's not just for me, but so I can afford to show up a little late. It'll be all right. This is the last little bit of cutting in just around the door. I don't know why. Took me uh, in the speed walking. You won't see that, but it took me three hours to cut everything in. So. Hey, there we go. I'll get all cleaned up. Go eat some barbecue. I don't actually wash anything out. I put these in Ziploc bags and just keep working the next day. I put them in a dry, dark, dry place. And uh, these I just peel out. Uh, you know, I let the sun bake them. But let me get ready for that uh, Father's Day barbecue. Yeah, I love the barbecue. And that'll be just in time because the sun is just about ready to poke over the top of this and put it in full sun. When I get back, I'll work in shade areas. Uh, like I said, the end caps around on the east side, yada, yada. Uh, and then get out the airless sprayer. I'm hoping that I could spray the whole thing without plugs and whatnot. Uh, you know, airless sprayers are hard to use. So when I see an online rating and, they, oh, it plugged my paint was thick or you know a lot of complaints about an airless sprayer it could be junk or uh, airless spraying it's just you got to filter you got to be careful you got to make sure the filters are clean you got to blow it out every now and then you got to put it in a bucket of water when you're not using it you know drop the head in a bucket of water that you have sitting there uh, and then you can get through but once I start uh, air spray and I air spray, so there we go. It's 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 cut in. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, you know, it looks 50 feet. That's what I wanted. I wanted people when they pulled in to see a cohesive house. Uh, so once uh, I spray all of that and uh, get the whole thing that shade, I think it'll look pretty nice. Uh, even though the windows are got uh, you know they're. Again, it'll be earth bagged, so none of that matters. But the windows are not finished properly. Um, you know, to do that, I, I would have been more careful if I wasn't doing earth bag. But uh, that's what it is. And, uh, you know, I could cut it all out if I wanted to and finish the house as a, uh, a shipping container. But um, I'm just going to have little bits and pieces. The shipping container, I'm calling this a laminate construction. So I'm using the shipping container. Uh, to make the squares, the structural integrity, uh, something for the earth bag to attach to, because I've never used earth bag. I don't want it to fall down. Um, but that'll look pretty nice. That's pretty good. All right. Like, subscribe, follow me along. Bye.